Hey guys. Oh yeah, big old grill out. Everybody kind of does the, you know, burgers and hot dogs, but they just basically take it out of the packaging, throw a little salt and pepper and throw it on the grill. And, and you've got something that's easy, but it is a lot better than easy. that. It's a little bit different, you know, and there's nothing wrong with plain hot dogs and plain hamburgers. Just get good hot Meat, dogs and hamburgers, sure. you know. And the thing with hamburgers, use an 80-20 ground beef or somewhere close, you know, 85, 15, okay. those numbers yeah, out they, 100. Yeah. Yes, they do. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Which is usually like a ground chuck. And that's the cool thing about the fresh markets. They grind theirs fresh every day several times a day so they don't just you know bring it in in these packs and stuff sure. and that's what I really like and I guess that's where the name came from the fresh market market okay because it's fresh well we're gonna start with my go-to side all right and this is this is like the thing that chef Troy brings to every like barbecue and, you go to and and I don't mind because it's relatively easy to make I mean there's a little bit of knife work to do mm -hmm. you know we we made a little simple dressing we basically made a basil vinaigrette okay and we just a little bit of mustard just a little bit of vinegar or, uh, not vinegar lime juice and uh, oil salt and pepper and that's about it and we've got our charred corn some black beans in there that I just pulled out of the can now the corn you, you we should mention you threw in water first cooked it and then put it on the grill right and that's always a good thing now you can do corn another way you can leave it in the husk soak the husk and the corn with water and throw it on the grill uh, soak it for about an hour or so that way you know they you got to take the tassel out first okay soak it in water and then that way when you do that it steams the corn and uh, that's another way to do it but the way we did is we uh, shucked it, threw it in some salted boiling water just for about eight minutes and then we oiled it and seasoned it, threw it on the grill, charred up a little bit and then cut it off the cob and as I was mentioning before don't throw those cobs away save them, throw them in the freezer, maybe make a stock out of them I usually throw them back on the grill get a little smoke inside of them, you know and then I make like a smoked corn chowder or something like that so we're going to add just a little bit more of this now what you would like to do normally is you want to you know dress it, throw it in the refrigerator, let it sit for an hour or so just so everybody gets to know each other. Okay. And we're gonna put that in our bowl. Now tell me that doesn't look good. And that's the other thing too. This isn't like a mayonnaise based side or anything. So it's so everybody can Well I heard you talking about food safety, so it's a little safer than you know, like a mayonnaise. Yeah, if it's based. out there for a little bit, because anything over ninety degrees, you gotta kinda be watching uh, right. with your food being outside. And you know the thing like with hamburgers and hot dogs, you know, especially you know, ground beef. Yeah, you, you gotta watch. You make sure you. Well, they say you make sure you gotta cook it up, but I like my burgers medium, medium rare. You, you get like, yeah, come on, you like yours kind of pretty rare. I do. Now this was our cheese sauce, our chipotle cheddar cheese sauce. This is what's gonna go on top of our bacon wrapped dogs. The dogs I got at Fresh Market right in the deli, all beef. They got a nice little crunch to them. So we're gonna put this on there. You get all these dress. I, now I just grabbed a nice hoagie roll mm -hmm. and I cut those downs into a, a hamburger bun because I like them. Uh, just a little bit different. Or a hot dog bun, right? Yeah, well, it's a hoagie bun, bun. that I cut into, cut into a hot okay, dog bun. Gotcha. Did I get that backwards? Well, I think you said cut into a hamburger bun, and then I got, okay. I got lost. Well, hey, I <laughs> it didn't take you, much to get me lost. Appreciate you paying attention. <laughs> these are our stuffed jalapenos, just with a little breakfast sausage, some sage sausage, uh, some cheddar, some cream cheese. We got all those stuff. So there's our dogs. There's right the dogs. There. So we've got. Uh, now Got here's burger time. Here's the big thing. Now we stuffed our burgers with pulled pork. Mm -hmm. We made a quick little barbecue sauce. We just took some like leftover pulled pork. We took two patties. We stuffed them. Made now a little how small were the patties that you, they you were, used to get to this size? They were four ounces each. Okay. So we've got, you know, a half pound burger plus, you know, there's about a quarter cup or so of the pulled pork. It's got, you know, the, the barbecue sauce on it. So we got those. Now we melted some cheddar on it, and that's one of my pet peeves. When you get a hamburger out, mm -hmm. is that the cheese isn't melted? Yeah, you know? or, it's, or somebody kind of took two slices of cheese, and there's the overlap, and there's that fat part that, that doesn't really get melted at all. See, that drives me crazy. I'm feeling you there. That's I'm my feeling OCD. You. <laughs> well, and I just I, I like it where it's melted, where it hugs the whole burger, and then you know that that's actually two slices or one really big thick slice. But I know exactly what you're saying. We just made a real simple slaw. Now I dressed this at the last minute. We shredded some cabbage, shredded some carrots, hand shredded if you can. If not, just get it out of the pack. And then uh, we just made just a little quick dressing with some mayonnaise, some sour cream, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And we did that, and then we're just going to top it with our bun like that. These are just little sesame seed Kaiser rolls. What are you laughing about, Tara? Are you inviting us all over? Are you going to do this again tomorrow? I was hoping that you guys would invite me over for a change. <laughs> and cook, and cook, for, cook yeah. for Chef Troy. Of course, I've seen Derek 
<laughs> he said cooking was right, using so his flash. Alright, so who wants frozen pizza at my house tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, there you go. I get the kiddie pool first. <laughs> <laughs> All the recipes available on FiveStarter.com. We probably don't want to do that particular thing for our children. I wouldn't give the kids a steak knife <laughs> yeah. uh, necessarily, call, but Terry, I call. definitely would do that just so it I holds it together. I think that was advice for you specifically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean don't give it to Derek? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I know. I'm going to sit down over here. <laughs> So there you go. All the rest of available on foxstar.com. You know <laughs> I'm going to cut into this. I'm loving that. Check this out. Now show people the middle. Uh, amazing. Look at, how right yeah. there, folks. Look at that. Thanks yeah. so much for joining us here at Fox News Rising. Make sure to check out Fox News at 10 and The Edge tonight after Master Chef. Have a great day, everybody.